steady. Looks like we've got rebels ahead. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. Shiva. He was the god of destruction, right? Yes. But maybe not in the way you're thinking. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding old attachments. Exactly. <laughs> Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Of course, there's not a full of you. Then, trade them. 
I'm smaller than most men. I thought we were talking about your feet. We are. What was that? All right then. Man down here. Search every inch of this place. Hey, saw something. Watch yourself. Hey! hey! You okay? Slightly dead, but I'm good. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <laughs> oh shit. Did I get you? No. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues. With two different symbols now. A star. They're all Hoysala sons. I like the descriptions better. Ugh! <sighs> 
right? Again? So good.
Here we go. Guess this will be a picture of an ex. Good guess. Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <sighs> Here we go. Mm hmm? Oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. 
My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. <clears throat> Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. <laughs> Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <clears throat> I would have made you dodge the axes. <clears throat> the one by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asab fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a star? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. I think Asav's men had that side too.
Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. He's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new, or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Oh. Uh, oh, remover of obstacles. Exactly. But why the elephant's head? Ah, well, his father Shiva gave it to him. How thoughtful. After Shiva chopped off his human head. Oh. Yeah. We've been there, all of us, am I right? <laughs>